All right. Um, I've gotten like a lot of like people in in game and on Discord, like asking me like, "Oh, you know, what's your FOV? What's your sensitivity? You know?" And like to be honest, I I'm not gonna like really share any of that with anyone besides, you know, the people like um uh, I guess close to. Um, but in this video, I wanted to just record like a gameplay and you know shit like that and we're gonna go over it right now um it's this video is like based on like game sense how to better your game sense and shit like that you know to you know just be better overall in the game um without you know sensitivity you know because like there's this new sensitivity you know in game like nowadays and if like you don't have this new sensitivity you're pretty much gonna be dog shit in the game um, and that's just honestly the sad truth, at least for mobile players. That's for PC. I don't really know, uh, you know, because I don't play on PC, obviously. Um, it could work, um, but nah, I wouldn't know. Um, so, yeah, we can go ahead and uh, start looking at the footage. All right. Um, so I go ahead and load into the game. And every time I load into the game, I'm always checking the leaderboards, as you see, like right here. I, I check the leaderboards. Um, I only check them, you know, because I don't ever want to be in a game when it's, like, less than, like, five to four people. Uh, only because, like, you can't really get a bunch of kills, especially on this map. This map is pretty – it's, like, a decently big map. Um, it's not too big, but it's not too small. More of, like, a medium, I guess that's the word. Um, <clears throat> so I don't really want to, like, you know, be in a game when there's, like, a little bit of people. So I always check the leaderboards, making sure there's – you know, enough people to kill, you know, and just level up. Um, after this, I go ahead and do, like, a 360, as you see right now. I do the 360 as soon as I spawn in because you always want to be rare, aware of your surroundings. There's a bunch of shit spawns on certain maps in this game that, like, honestly just annoy the hell out of me. You know, literally, sometimes people will spawn inside of you. And that that is honestly like unfair and stupid because they spawn in with spawn protection. Um, I go to do the 360. Uh, I see somebody on the left. I see somebody else. Uh, I saw I saw this guy Royal Angel on the left who just spawned in after I just killed this guy, you know. And then I'm getting shot from the right side. This this guy right here. I'm getting shot by him, and so I move behind this wall right here. Uh, this one, I moved behind it because he can't shoot me through it, obviously, because it's a damn wall, you know, so that wall is providing me protection while I go ahead and stim and heal up, but I'm also keeping in mind that that guy who spawned in on the left, um, I'm also keeping in mind that he's also there, you know, so I stim up, pull out my gun, and I go ahead and kill him, finish him off. I look to the right to try to finish this guy off, and I ended up doing that. You see? <clears throat> All right, now he's dead. I'm reloading. I see somebody spawn in mid. I see somebody on the left. I kill him. Somebody's mid. Don't really do anything about it because he's gone. I kill this guy right side through a little crack. All right, that guy mid is finally pushed up. So I go ahead and kill him. And I'm reloading now. So I kind of back up. All right, somebody mid. Two people mid. All right, that guy is fat as fuck so he didn't die. Could just go on the right because his back goes towards me. All right, keep in mind somebody's lit, mid. That silver guy was shooting. You could see his bullets, like shooting, like at the at at this other guy, right there. So you can see his bullets from whenever he spawned in. Shit. All right. So you could see his his bullets, you know, from uh like right there, like going, you know, from left to right, shooting at this guy that I'm shooting at, and I'm sure he sees my bullets flying at him too. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna push me. Yeah, there he is right there. And then he pushes me, and I ended up killing him. All right. Now I got a nice three-piece right there. <clears throat> Try to finish off that guy, but he's sad as fuck. All right. Somebody spawned in next to me, so I ended up killing him. There's somebody. All right. So there's somebody to my left and right, and I keep that in mind. So I pull him. I have my knife out, too, which I shouldn't have done because I'm not at a full clip. I'm at 32 you know, bullets. I should have taken that time to reload. You know, but I'm stupid and I didn't do that. So you always want to keep your gun out, you know, whenever you're in this, you know, scenario. Um, somebody to my right, somebody to my left. 
I do take out the guy to my left because I see this guy is still running at me and he's not shooting at me, you know. And this guy Silver, he's shooting at me. Uh, I ended up finishing off this guy. And so whenever I kill Silver, I also see this guy right here. This guy in this corner. Uh, shit. I see this guy over here, like right below my gun. I see him. Um, I see him in the corner. And so I keep him in mind for later. So I kill this guy. I stim, hide behind this rock while I uh, heal up, kill this guy. And then I go around this corner looking for that guy. And I didn't see him. He just completely disappeared. So I just ignore it. Um, I killed that guy through a little crack. And then this guy sp spawned in in front of me. So I ended up killing him. There's silver again. All right. So I want to point out something. I've, you know, throughout this entire game so far, I've been playing it safe. You know, there's different play styles, you know, whenever you play any, you know, any FPS shooter, you know, you can play it safe like the one I'm doing now, or you could play, you know, aggressive. Um, I rarely play aggressively. I only do that whenever I know that I could win the gunfights, you know, against my opponents on the opposite team. If there is like one or two like good players, you know, I'll play like semi-aggressive, you know, I'll push up you know, kill one, and then I'll run back, because usually when I do kill one, they'll, like, get me low. So I'll run back, and i start playing the safe again, and then start picking off, you know, I'll get picks, you know, off of, you know, like, the opponents. Um, so throughout this game, I've been playing it safe, you know, only because, like, this is my first game on, and, you know, I'm still warming up, and I'm doing pretty decent right now. I'm 18-0, and 0. and, yeah, so... You know, when you warm up, you kind of want to play it safe just so, like, you can get, you know, like, the the feel of, like, you know, shooting the gun at people, you know, and killing people again, uh, as you were, like, you know, whenever you played yesterday or earlier that day or whatnot. Um, so, yeah, I just want to keep that in mind, you know, like, whenever you first, you know, play a game, uh, you kind of want to play it safe. And then you could start playing, you know, the way you usually do. All right, so I'm looking around. I don't see anybody. I see that grenade, so I move to the left. I see that guy silver to my right. And so notice how I just mentioned how I play it safe. Um, I'm also camping because there's people, like, that I kill, and they remember that I'm there in this spot, you know, where the this little body of water is at. They know I'm here, all right? So they know I'm here. I keep killing them. They're getting annoyed by me, which is a good thing. You know, that's what you want to happen. So the, they spawn in and they go straight to you. As soon as they do that, you know, you, you know, they're just feeding you kills at this point, you know, because you're winning all your gunfights, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. Um, yeah, so this guy, this is like a good example of it. This guy had just spawned in. Um, his back is faced me. You see, like his back is faced me and he knows I'm here. Okay. He knows I'm here. You know, so what he does is he turns around. He turns around, look at that, and starts shooting me. Now, what this guy doesn't know is that there's somebody behind him as well. You know, that's why you never want to do that. As soon as you spawn in, you know, you want to look at the direction where you spawned in from, you know, because if there's people in front of you and you just, you know, do this, what this guy did, you know, like a dumbass, which will spawn in, turn around for me, like, you're going to die, okay? And... Again, like as I mentioned, you know, like he knows I'm there, so he's going to, you know, turn around and try to kill me. You know, and he's just feeding me kills at this point. All right. And so there's some guy behind him, as I mentioned right now. Uh, that's why you never want to do that. As soon as you find in, you always want to check, you know, who or what's in front of you. You know, you want to be aware of your surroundings at all times, as I'm doing now. Um, so I ended up killing both of them. All right. I see somebody spawning to the left. Probably going to go mid. Yeah, he did. All right. So here... All right, I see three, three to four, I think three people. Okay, I kill these two guys, and I move in, move a little bit this way. I kill this guy. All right, I see that Slothman 21 guy mid, you know, and I know he sees me because he was firing this direction uh, towards that guy, and I killed him. There's somebody who spawns into the left. All right, so there's two, two of these guys. I'm keeping them in mind, All right? So I look a little bit to my right, and I see this guy to my right also pushing me, all right? So I move, that guy shoots me, I move, uh, you know, behind this wall again. I ended up stimming to be, like, at full health. And I see this dumbass, you know, facing the wall because he's a noob. So I don't really have to worry about him. Um, I, you know, go for the guy who just spawned into the left. 
uh, and I didn't see the guy, that sloth man, 21 guy, him. I didn't see him mid, you know, uh, after I killed this player, 234, you know. So you can see, uh, like, I'm looking around for him, and I don't see him. Um, so I ended up looking for this guy again to my right. Uh, I uh, I don't think I see Yeah, I didn't see him. He just disappeared. And then I obviously killed this guy to, you know, mid. I see somebody spawn in on my right. You know, I see him out of the corner of my eye spawn in. So I look right away, and I'm aiming already, and I ended up killing him. Somebody spawned in mid. I killed him. Uh, no, I didn't. He's a fat fuck, so he didn't die. And now I'm reloading. So as soon as I reload, you know, I'm taking, you know, taking cover, taking, getting protection um, behind this wall, you know, to my right, you know, because that guy cannot shoot me through it, obviously, while I'm reloading. All right. So I go look for him. All right, so he has an RPG, um, and I noticed that there's some guy shooting me to my left, and I had just gotten a nuke. Um, so I, in this case, you know, like whenever I get a nuke, um, I always wait to launch the nuke under like two conditions, you know. If the time limit is like 12 seconds left of the game, I'll launch the nuke because a nuke, you know, takes 10 seconds for it to launch. Um, that's like, you know, the only time I'll launch it, or um, whenever I'm low, you know, when people start shooting me and I get below 50 health, as I am now, as you see, I'll I'll launch the nuke because I don't want the nuke to go to waste, you know? So I see this guy shooting me to the left, but I also kept in mind that this guy to my right uh, had an RPG, you know? And literally noobs nowadays, they figured out, you know, pros, I guess, quote unquote, pros weakness, which is literally just spraying and hip firing and RPGs. RPGs are so broken in this game, you know, and that's literally our damn weakness. So I ended up finishing him off because I see that I'm 24 and, and I haven't died once. I have 24 kills and I haven't died once. So I finished him off because I know if he were to shoot that RPG, I would die right away, you know. And I see this guy to my left shooting me as well. But again, I didn't want to die uh, to an RPG because that's just annoying. So I ended up finishing him off. And as you can see right here, like, I'm not really, like, uh, like I go blank. I'm not shooting anything or aiming. That's because I was, like, launching the nuke. So after you do that, I kill that guy on the left. And I surprisingly, you know, stayed alive. You know, so there, you know, like, if I would have known I was, you know, stayed alive, I wouldn't have launched a nuke. And, yeah, you know, like, that's... You know, those are, you know, my helpful uh, tips, you know, on how to, you know, use, you know, like your game sense or get better with your game sense and stuff like that. You just want to keep practicing this over and over. Um, but, yeah, y'all have a great day.